Welcome, come on in. I can't wait to share this with you. I have a neck roll uh, pillow that I normally sleep with, but since I moved, I can't locate my neck roll and I refuse to sleep one more night without it, thereby prompting this video. So first I must say, if you're here, like, subscribe, and follow me to see what else I'm going to come up with. Now, on the other scale or an, another subject, I have to get credit where credit is due. This is not my pattern. Are you surprised? Why? Okay. Even when I use McCall's, it's not mine. When I use Vogue, it's not mine. Okay, so I got this pattern from... Uh, connecting threads. So it's, she calls it Mother's Love Comfort Pillow. And I got this off the internet some time ago. And I made it a few times for myself. But now I'm going to share it with you. And it is fat quarter friendly. So today, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to share with you just how we sew this Mother's Love Comfort Pillow by uh, Debbie, Debbie Beeves for um, connecting threads. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you. This is the shape of the pattern. And I have two of them cut out on the fold. They're double folded because we need um, four pieces. See, it says cut four. Okay, so I'm gonna cut four. This is my beautiful fabric that I'm using. And I'm gonna make one modification to this and that's that I'm going to put a zipper in mine because I wanna be able to take the cover off and wash it. Okay. Um, it says to sew the we're going to sew the bone shapes together in sets of two and turn one of them right sides out. So let's get started. Of course, first I am going to cut the fabric out and then we'll get to the sewing machine. Now the pieces are cut out on the fold. Pink and yellow with white. It's a nice motherly color. And now we go to the sewing machine. I'm gonna remove the pins and then we'll go to the sewing machine and get this sewn up. Yep. You want to place your point your pins from one point we're gonna sew around here, continue all the way down here and down to here and stop. When you pin the other side, you're going to pin here to here, and then you stop and then leave an opening for the zipper. That's if you're putting a zipper. If you're not putting a zipper, then just continue to sew, and you'll leave a space on the other side to, um, to stuff. But I, I chose to do, put my zipper here, and then start from here, go to here, down, and we'll continue. So you have two pieces side by side. Okay, so at this point, what I've done is I've turned this one side, one portion over on the right side and the other side is on the wrong side. You can see the seams here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this one inside of here all the way down, all the way in here. And we're gonna pin it. We're gonna match the seams. Gotta trim those threads. I don't like threads. And we're going to match the seams. 
I like to make mine flat. Some people do theirs side to side, but I like to make mine flat. I like to open them up. I don't know how much difference it makes, but it makes a lot of difference if they're not on the same side. So I'll just pin this together. And um, line it up real good. And what I will do is leave leave an opening, a little space where I'll be able to stuff this, you know, with the fiber, polyfiber when I'm done. Okay, so let me pin that around and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've pinned it all the way around and I'm going to start sewing, leaving that gap open for the stuffing and then we'll put the filling in, stuffing filling. It's not a turkey, but you know. Going to make it as plump as we want it to be. We're going to get here, needle down, and we're going to do pivot and sew straight across on this end. We're moving the pins as we go. It's a beautiful pink and yellow hearts. If you were wondering what the design is. And here we're going to pivot one more time. So across the bottom on the other side of the pillow. And this is actually comes out almost like a bone shape. So that's it. it is a bone shaped pillow. So, yep, needle down. We're going to go down to this pin and stop leaving the opening to do our um, stuffing right here. So, eyeball it by the heart, back stitch. Okay, and that's good enough. Auto cut. Then we can pull this out, the other side out, and just clip the corners. I'm just going to clip them this way. I just already clipped that one, clip that one, clip this. Okay, so okay, so we're all done, and this is what you have. Nice plush neck roll that you can sleep on. Bone shape. So check the link in the description below for the website where you can download the pattern. And uh, thank you for coming. Like, subscribe, and share. See you in the next teaching video. It's what I do.